Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're gonna to show you how to set up a Ring Spotlight Cam battery. So what's really neat about this is this is a 100% battery powered Wi-Fi camera, so you can place it anywhere outside your home. It's got a little motion sensor here, and then it's got some LED lights on the side, as well as the camera right there. So this is completely battery powered. So another neat feature of this is that it uses the standard ring doorbell battery packs, and you can actually put two of them in here to extend the battery life of this device. So let's show you how to set up this ring spotlight cam battery. If you haven't done so already, you're going to need to download and install the ring app. Here we are on the phone and that's the ring app. So if you haven't done so already, download that, set up an account, create a username and password. So this is the main screen in the Ring app and we're just gonna go over here in the upper left-hand corner and click on the menu button right here. Now we can click up set up a device which will let us choose what we're going to install. So we're installing a security cam, so let's click on that option here. It says scan the code on your Ring product. So here we're gonna look for a QR code on the device and then scan that. So to get to the QR code for the Ring Spotlight Cam battery, all we need to do is turn it over. So there's the front, we turn it over and on the back, we've got this little button right here and that's gonna release the battery compartment. And on the inside face right here, you're gonna find the QR code that you need to scan. So we're gonna scan that right now. Unfortunately, I can't show you the QR code, but it is right here inside there. So all you have to do is press this little button and that opens it up and then the QR code is right down inside there. And you can see this opens up all the way, so it's really easy to scan it right there with that code. Let's scan it right now. We scan the QR code and this is what popped up. It gives us the option for the Spotlight Cam battery and or the Spotlight Cam solar. We're installing a Spotlight Cam battery, so we're gonna click the option right there. It says, where would you like to set up your Spotlight Cam? So choose the address and location that you wanna set this up. We're going to click continue. Now it says, give your spotlight cam a name. We're just gonna call this one front. And then it says, insert the battery and wait 30 seconds for the spotlight cam to turn on. It doesn't matter which battery compartment you use. One is for the optional second battery. So to access the battery, you just press this little button here and then you're gonna be able to get back in there if you don't have it open already. Now, what's preventing the battery from activating the device is that we've got this little piece of cardboard in here. So we need to remove that and to do that, you can see there's a little button here that says push. So we push out and that's gonna allow our battery pack to slide out right here. And then we just take that piece of cardboard and we can remove that. We don't need that any longer. And now we've got our battery pack right here and all we need to do is slide it back into the device. You can see there's two holes. I could put it in uh, this hole over here, or I could put it in this one over here. It doesn't matter. And if you need to charge this up for whatever reason, you can see right there, that's the little charging port. And you can use the provided cable that comes with this device to charge that battery up but usually they have a fair amount of charge coming from the factory, but it's not a bad idea to charge them if you want, but you can get it set up and then take the battery back out and then uh, charge it so you've got maximum lifetime. So we're just gonna take this and uh, we're gonna insert it so that this tab is up and that the charging end is down. And we're just gonna put it into the device right here and we're gonna push down. We heard that click. And now you can see the device lit up with this blue light here. And I just press that close and uh, we're gonna go back over to our phone and click continue. It says insert the battery and wait 30 seconds for spotlight cam to turn on. We're going to click continue. Next, grab your Wi-Fi password. So we're gonna do that, click continue. And then it says, please allow location access. So you wanna make sure you have your location access on. Uh, we're going to just uh, skip this for now. And it says, wait for spotlight cam to enter setup mode. When the light on the bottom of your spotlight cam starts flashing, continue to the next step. So it is flashing right here. And you do wanna take off this little piece of plastic uh, as well, because this is uh, where you've got your motion sensor as well as the little light that lights up there. So I'm gonna click the light is flashing and we're gonna continue on. It says when prompted, connect to the Ring Wi-Fi network. We're going to click, got it. It says Ring wants to join Wi-Fi network Ring setup 
five, six. We're going to click join. Connecting to your spotlight cam. It says Ring would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. This lets the Ring app connect to and set up your Ring device. We're going to click OK here. The next thing that pops up here is our Wi-Fi network. So we're going to make our selection and you may need to enter your password here. So we're going to enter the password. Then we click continue. Now it's connecting our Ring Spotlight Cam battery to our Wi-Fi network. Here it says fill in the blanks with snapshot capture. Your new Ring device can capture a continuous series of image to show you what happens between detected events. You can swipe through these images like a time lapse in your timeline. We're going to click got it. Success. Your Spotlight Cam is now set up and ready to protect you. We're going to click continue. Just a few steps left to get the best from your Ring device, I'm going to click continue. Now it walks you through the physical installation. We're going to show you how to do that. So we're just going to click I've already installed it so that the camera turns on and we can see what works. We're going to skip this for now. And it says your Ring products work better as a team. So we're not going to link the devices now, but you can do this at any time within the app to get this set up and have everything work as part of an ecosystem. We're going to click skip for now though. Let's make motion work for you. We can optimize our motion detection, but we're going to skip that for now as well. Refine your settings anytime. So anything that we skip through, you can do on the app and change around as much as you want. We're going to click I'm done. Now it's installing an update. It says the front is installing an update. This may take up to 15 minutes. So we're going to let it do its update and then we're going to install it using the actual mount and show you how you can set this up and mount it on a wall or a door or wherever you want to. The update is complete and we can click right here and that will allow us to use our device. So it says timeline in live view just got some upgrades. With the help of feedback, they look, feel, and work even better. We can see what's new, I guess, for now. And it says, if you have Ring Protect, you'll watch record events in the video viewer. We'll click next here. To review recent events, swipe left and right in the timeline. We're going to click next. It says, if you have Ring Protect, share, find, and filter events. So Ring Protect is the premium service here. And uh, you do have to pay a monthly subscription for that. We're going to click next through all these and we're just going to click finish. Okay, so let's click tap to go live and see what pops up here. Great, you can see my hand here. So the camera is working. That means that we're ready to install the Ring Spotlight Cam on its mount. So we're gonna take this and install it. And then we're gonna show you a couple features of the device once we've got it all set up. To mount the Ring Spotlight Cam battery, uh, they've provided this bracket here and it's got this little retainer ring. So you need to make sure that this is as loose as possible uh, while you're getting it installed so that the knuckle on the Ring Cam can go right into the bracket. So once you've got it loose there, it's gonna push in like so. And that's what you're gonna do once you've got this mounted. So you can see there's four holes here. This is actually pretty lightweight, the camera. So, you know, typically just two holes will do it justice if you've got them diagonal from each other or maybe the two top holes. So let's show you how we're gonna mount this now. The mount comes with four screws and you can see it does have an angle on the bracket. So I recommend facing that angle straight down. So you can see the angle we've got here. We would put this like so, and that's just gonna give it more ability to look downwards rather than upwards and that's typically what you want. So if you're gonna mount this, usually six to eight feet is a good height. You can put it a little higher if you want, but typically the lower you have it, the better faces you're gonna get, but then you do run the risk of somebody trying to grab it. But it's pretty hard to grab this out of there once you've got it connected in that ball socket mount. Now you can mount this to siding, wood siding, vinyl siding, uh, even aluminum siding. They do provide you with four screws and uh, they have these little screw brackets that can go in there. But I've found that for most types of siding, just the regular screw is gonna work. So 
We're going to drill those in place right now. So we're going to align that bracket so it's downwards. Uh, you can see we've got it pretty well aligned. We just need to rotate this up just a little bit more. And in most cases, two screws is going to hold this in place. So I like to just do them diagonally. It eliminates having more screws through your house and your siding. So if you can get away with two, go ahead and try it with two. But you can always add more if you need to in the future. But these screws hold in there pretty tight when you've got wood backer um, or wood siding or even vinyl siding. So just test it out and see what you need. Now we've got the mount in place. So we've got our spotlight cam battery ready. We just take it and we pop it into the mount there. It goes right into the socket and we've got that installed now. So you can see it's pretty easy to pop in and out. And once you tighten up that collar on the socket, then it's going to keep it in place. So let's take our screwdriver and we're gonna tighten up that socket. Now we can tighten up the screw for the collar that holds the ring cam on the mounting bracket. Now that we've got the screw tightened down on the collar, we can adjust the camera as we want for whatever angle we want. And now we can test this out. So we're back here at the Ring app and here is our front camera and that's just a snapshot of what the view is currently with that camera. So if we click here in settings, we've got a whole bunch of different stuff that we can change around here. You've got the lights on it, you can turn those on or off and you can actually see uh, that camera is right next to where I'm getting it set up, those lights turned on. You can have your motion detection on or off, you can have motion alerts on or off and motion warnings. Now there's also a siren here, so if I were to click this, the camera will go off and you'll hear that siren, but uh, I'm going to turn that off because it is quite loud. You've got your event history here, so you can see what's happening. You would click on one of these, and then you can actually see uh, those different videos that were recorded on the device and saved. So you can see me right here. I was just uh, messing around with it while we were setting this up. Now you've got all kinds of different things that you can also look at here. You can set a schedule, um, you can link other devices, you can snooze your motion. So if you don't want that motion to go off or notify you, you can have a two hour snooze, a four hour snooze, 30 minutes if you want. You can also go in here and there's different modes that you can uh, have here. So and you can have different settings for armed, disarmed or home in a way. Uh, within the Ring app, so you can play around with those and how it interacts with other Ring devices within your system. Here you can also link chimes, so if you want to have a chime go off when motion is detected, you can link that with a Ring chime. Down here you've got your device health, and that's just going to tell you like your Wi-Fi network settings and how well it's connected. Um, you can change your motion settings around here, so I'm just going to click got it, and uh, what you can do is adjust the motion sensitivity you can have different smart alerts uh, for this, or you can have uh, advanced settings. And what that's gonna allow you to do is tailor your motion settings exactly to how you want it to be alerted for different things. And then you can have a cool off time with your motion frequency, or you can have it scheduled for only certain times. Now here you've got your power settings. Uh, this is really good. So you can see the battery levels here. We've got 100% battery. We just charged this up here. And then you've got your right battery level here. So if you had that second battery, it would show your battery level right there. Now you can change around your snapshot capture motion frequency and advanced motion detection video recording link to help you save more battery. Um, you could also use a solar panel here, but we're just gonna go with the batteries here. And uh, that's pretty much everything that you've got here in the settings menu. Now let's take a look at the camera itself and uh, just we're going to click tap to go live here and that's going to bring up the live view of the camera. You can see my hand in front of the camera. We're recording right here and uh, I've also got two way communication. So you've got your microphone and you've got your speaker here and if you wanted to trigger your siren, you could do so. You can turn your lights on or off from right here. So turn those on and off and you've got a couple other controls right here that you can access. So. You can turn on the light or the siren. We're just going to X out of that. So that's everything we've got for how to set up your Ring Spotlight Cam battery. We hope you enjoyed this video and please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below if you want to support us as well as check out the description for other videos related to this device. Thank you and we'll see you next time.